For some, Black Friday is the kickoff of the holiday shopping season. While the retailer's holiday does account for some of the increase in overall retail sales seen this weekend, sales on Black Friday yeah, alone yeah. fell over 13% this year. A lot of people did come in and take advantage of the deals that we had. Um, so I guess in that respect, we did more dollars wise than we do um, you know, any other day, but our ticket count was definitely way lower. Black Friday can offer great deals for those willing to go out and brave the chaos and crowds. But for those looking to avoid some of the commotion, Cyber Monday allows shoppers to get discounts from the click of a mouse. One of the issues of, uh, of Black Friday versus uh, Cyber Monday, um, it reminds me a little bit of absentee ballots when you're voting. It's a great thing to have so that people who can't get out or have great difficulty getting out are able to vote. Um, but I wouldn't want to be told that as a person with a disability, you don't have to make polling places accessible. Um, and you must use something, you know, a piece of paper that you have to mail in at a certain time instead of being integrated with the rest of the population. And I sort of feel that way about shopping too. Although so many people who are not disabled, you know, do um, use their computers to shop, that it, it's not really segregation. It's really just as much integration, or you might say isolation. I mean, we're sort of all shopping separately and privately when we're doing it online. Overall, Cyber Monday shoppers spent an estimated $2.29 billion, more money spent via web in a single day than ever recorded. For BUTV 10, I'm Jessica Pratty.